In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this bar transition inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and as you can see, we've got two video clips on our timeline. So if you haven't got to this point, then you want to make sure that you've got two videos imported and they're sitting next to each other like this. You want one to run straight into the second one. Now from here, we need to go ahead and create either a new black video or a new color mat. In this example, I'm gonna go for a color mat, but you can always use a black video as well. It's completely up to you. And in order to create that color mat, we want to go into the project tab and we can either go down to the new button item down here, or we can right click in here and select new item and we'll go down to color mat. Once you've selected that new color mat, you just want to press okay here and that will load up the color picker menu. So feel free to just pick a color that works for you. I'm gonna go for a nice aqua blue. I think that looks nice. We'll press OK, OK, and drag this on top of our two video clips. So this should now be on video layer two with our footage on video layer one. Now, because we're using this color mat for the transition, we actually only need this to cover the section in between the first clip and the second clip. So we can shorten this so we can cut the start and we can cut the end. There we go. I just give a little bit of room either side just so that we've got room to do the animation. Now from here, I'm just going to go to the very beginning of that color mat and I'm just going to go up to position and I'm going to bring the position up. So I'm just going to animate that up. Then I'll create a brand new keyframe on position. Now, once you've done that, you just want to scroll to the end of that first clip. So somewhere around here. So it's halfway through the color mat and we just bring that position back down onto screen. So I think that's 540 in this example. Then you're going to want that to hold for a moment. So we'll just let that breathe for a second. Then we'll create a brand new keyframe on the position again. And then we'll go towards the end of that clip. As you can see, this clip isn't quite long enough. So I'm just going to extend this over to the right. And then I'm just going to animate this down off screen. So if we play this back, you can see this comes down, holds, and then comes back down again. Now at the moment, there's no real character to that animation. And that's because we're using linear keyframes. If we highlight all of these keyframes, right click one of them and select temporal interpolation, we can change the keyframe animation from linear to ease in. Now, if you have a look, ease in looks a lot more beautiful compared to the linear keyframes. As you can see, it kind of slows down into that action and that looks really nice. Of course, this does work as a video transition. If this is what you wanted, then great. The tutorial is finished and you can now go ahead and add this into your project. But this tutorial is gonna take this one step further. Instead of having the one box coming down, we're going to stagger down a few different boxes and then the transition will happen when all of the boxes appear on screen. So in order to do that, we first just want to go to effects and search for crop. We'll drop crop onto the color mat and we'll change the right to 75%. So we've cropped the right by 75%. So we're gonna have four bars. So each one needs to be 25%. As you can see, we've got that one bar now coming down, but of course, because this isn't filling the screen, we can see these two videos cutting. So we need three more videos in order to do this transition. So I'm just going to hold option. I'm gonna drag that color mat up to make a copy, or alternatively, we can just copy and paste by going Control C, Control V, or Command C, Command V, and then dragging that back on top. And we want four of these. So let's just make two more copies and drag those on top. So we should now have four color mats on top of these videos. Now I'm just gonna to go to that second color mat and I'm gonna go into effects. I'm gonna type in tint. And you just want to drop tint onto that color mat and we're going to change the black to a color. So let's go for a green and then copy this hex code here. So control C or command C and then go into map white to and then we'll paste that into Control V or Command V, depending on if you're on Windows or Apple. Then you just want to copy that tint. So Command C, we'll paste this onto the third color mat and we'll change these two colors again. So I'm gonna go for a yellow on this one, copy that. Move to the map white two and paste that in. So now we should have that same yellow. Then we can go to that fourth color mat again. So copy that tint, paste that onto the fourth color mat and we'll change this to so if I had a blue, a green and a yellow, let's go for a reddish color. So I'll copy this hex code. We'll go into the map white too, and we'll paste this in. So now we should have four colored bars animating in, but at the moment, the crop on all of these is set to right 75%. 
So on the second one, we want to go right 50, left 25. Then the third will be right 25, I think, right 25, and then left will be 50. And then the top one is going to be right zero, left 75. There we go. So now we've got four color bars animating down. But at the moment, though, they're all just coming in at the same time. Doesn't look amazing. So we're going to stagger these on. So in order to stagger these on, you just want to nudge them all over one or two keyframes. So we'll go one, two, nudge the second one over, one, two, and nudge the third one over, one, two, and nudge the fourth one over. Let's play this back. There you go. That looks really cool. Although, as you can see, the video cut here and it hasn't quite filled the screen yet. So you want to go through to the point where the screen is covered. So that's here. And then you just want to drag that to where these two clips now cut. Let's see how this looks. There you go. That transition is now done. So if you wanted to rinse and reuse this transition in your project, then I would recommend just selecting all of those color mats, right clicking and select nest. You can rename this to transition, press OK. And then for reference, you want to make a cut halfway through that where the cut appears. And now if you were to add this onto another clip, so let's just make a copy of this clip. If you wanted to copy this transition over into this transition here, then you just copy that and then you use this line here to marry up with the cut of the video. And that means, you know, that's going to be perfectly in time every single time. So let's play this back, see how this looks. There you go. That looks really awesome. So there you go. That is how you create this really awesome, but really simple colored bar animation transition inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next one. See you there.